Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rage. So, we're actually going to go ahead and go down and talk to Captain Marshall. And we're going to move on to our uh, resistance base. So, you ready to leave? Well, Spring just isn't safe for you anymore. The communication scrambler should mask our exit. I've got a transport to take us to the resistance base and subway tap, really. Deep beneath the ruins of Crescent City. Welcome to the front lines. Let's do Excellent. this. Excellent. Let's go. Double dirigible. Another one of these. Ugh, I'm glad you decided to join us. You were probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan? Well, welcome to the fire. Hmm. I have a feeling we're in an entirely new section of the map and I can't get back to Wellspring. Makes me sad. I feel like I missed out. Fighting some stuff. the authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my arc emerged. And I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. But General Cross changed the timing of only a few arcs. Arcs filled with his people. And that changed the course of humankind. Now it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. Come this way. Our base is just through that door. Okay. So, Captain Marshall's an Ark Dweller. Hey, you have a robot leg! Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. Did you hear ahead of us, Elizabeth? Alright, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough. Gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. Even though you don't you see introduce that arc me my name. All in pieces over there. It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing. But I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. And Elizabeth. You know. Good to see you again. And still in one piece. You hitting on me? Actually, it's Dr. Cadence. And she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the authorities' work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Borgman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the authority bastards. And lastly, above us, like keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations is Saul. He runs the garage in town. He's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. Subway town above us? Oh, and isn't Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the authority in a heartbeat unless you're of use to him. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Kiss his ass. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. Blow him. And Something. Then you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Yeah, sure. Good. And remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay. 
It's clear for you to go up. Elizabeth is our resident expert on the mutants. It would be wise for you to see her and learn as much about them as you can. she have any collector cards? Remember, to be of use to us, you must be able to move around freely. And the only way to do that is to gain Redstone's trust. Gotcha. Kick them right in the nuts. I've been working with some authority technology we found, and let me tell you, I think I've come up with something truly impressive. I found a way to engineer separate authority components together to create an object that, when you activate it, inflicts extra damage, though only for as long as the power supply lasts. The parts are hard to find, but it sure is effective. Here are the plans. I know you'll have fun with it. Authority something schematic. Decrypting this ID drive is serious business. I need to focus. Decrypting this ID drive. What do you got for me, buddy? Blowing stuff up and hitting the authority where it hurts. That's my game. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. You gotta make good with Redstone before we can start going after the authority. Is this seriously all that's in the resistance? There's just four of us? Five now, I guess, technically. You have to know, the human mutations weren't caused by cosmic radiation from the asteroid hit. Mutants were created by the Authority experimenting with nanotrites and humans. The failures were rejected and discarded into the wasteland like trash left to reproduce and spread. That's the truth, and that's what people need to know. Okay. So, give me some time to analyze the data you recovered for us. I might be able to find something that could help you. Stop by later for an update. Well, I'll stop by later, all right. For some updates. For a second there, like my little targeting thing where it has, you know, see where it's got, like, right above in the name, a little dot. I had it right there in her nose, and it looked like she had a boogie. I don't know if anyone else saw that. Ew. Ew. You just leave this in here with no covering? That is not sanitary, you bastard. I'm kicking that. This is so gross. Anyway, let's get the balls out of here. Well, let's talk to Captain Marshall one time. Remember, to be of use that to us, that you that must... That Alright. Moving on up. To the set. Oh, right, six of us. I forgot about the guy in the garage. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but, uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start stooping around. But first, um, a couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs and the bars on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. Anything else to say, Saul? No? Okay. So, Redstone sounds like kind of a dick. That's a banging music. You new in town? No. I guess I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. Oh, that's presumptuous of you. Hey, stranger. You looking to earn a little on the side? Uh, yes. Oh wait, Earn. Uh, I don't like where this is going, but... Brick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar? He's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. What do I earn if I do... Ah, I'm making all kinds of stupid You looking for supplies? See Janie upstairs. Looking for a race? If so, go talk to Mel downstairs. She'll be able to set you up. Are all the important people in this town women? Stone may run this town, but he can't stop the street gambling. 
keep your eyes open for pickup games. Good if you need a little extra cash. I want a robot voice box. That's why my guy can't talk. I have no robot voice box. Exit to the wasteland. Hmm. We're watching you. Look around. All of this is Redstone's town. He's the meanest damn mayor in the wasteland. Watch yourself, or you won't last long here. Man. If you haven't seen Redstone yet, go there now. Don't waste any more time. Fine. I said upstairs, right? What's up, Gabe, if that's your real name? Hey, pal. Don't waste the boss's time. Go see him. Man, all of you people are just... Hold it right boy, there. Down. You Marshall's new guy. Yes. Ooh, bobblehead. Okay, that's a reference to something else, too, isn't it? Because I made... I don't know what, who Blake is. Okay, you're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place, my town, and every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. Can I be solid so snake? if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the blue line tunnel. I like that belt. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Of course. Good. Good. Just prove yourself useful to me. And then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. And get the hell out of here. Is that a demon tattooed on your head? Or a dragon? Kind of hard to tell. Touch all of the stuff in your office. What are you doing? Get your butt down to see Jones. He's waiting for you, damn it. And come back when you've taken care of his problems. I'm pretty sure that's the guy who, I mean, if you couldn't tell before, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who does the voice for the commander. <laughs> um, in the uh, Metal Gear Solid games. Woo, 50%. I don't like this place, it's confusing. I've got an incredible deal for you. Really? Hello, name's Stu. I often have a surplus of one thing or another, and I'm willing to sell for a fair price. Care to see what I've got? Five, seventy for five. five. My special deal changes often, so check back again. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. Okay. Management key required. CCRA. Welcome to Subway Town. Yeah, we've got our own vibe here. Being so close to Capital Prime keeps everyone on edge, but we try to relax when we can. Capital Prime. I don't know why that's... What do you do? Strum. Watch and listen to the notes being played and repeat the pattern. You can let your money ride if you're feeling lucky, or exit stage left if the spotlight is too intense. Okay, um... Oh, goddammit, it's what the Simon says. Yeah, it's Simon says. Next round worth six dollars! Oh, I'm gonna cash out. Don't you marry me? Mm. Ooh, lock grinder. Breaking into your homes! Stealing your feltrite! Ew! Ew! Someone needs to clean their fucking bathroom more often. Oh, is in here? Night Blossom and Feltrike? And books that I can't pick up?
looks like it. town is that Marshall's back with the new trigger man. Some say an arc survivor and some say that's you. Well, I guess we'll just have to see. I guess so. That's all you gotta say? Alright. Hello there, stranger. I've got the best deck of cards in the wasteland. Care to challenge me? I would love to. But now's not the time for rage frenzy. So you Redstone's new tough guy? Care to make a little extra on the side? What the fuck are you wearing? Damn, bandits causing trouble with my liquor suppliers. Making it difficult to get the good stuff down here. I would pay handsomely if you took to the roads and kill a few of those bandits. You take out an authority predator, and that'll count as two. Ooh. Can you handle that? Well, alrighty then. Go kick some ass. Get out there and take care of my bandit problems. I got you. Did you follow me here? Abbott? You bastard? You just want me to stab my fingers. Okay, where? Here we go. Damn mutants go well, with the construction around here. Shut down. Else Red he Sun's got to do something about it. Shut your ass. You're another orc. Until someone takes care of Jones's mutants, all we can do is drink. <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed to go to get this done then? Okay, Foreman Jones. Find Foreman Jones down the down the tunnel from the Fez Bar. Okay, down the tunnel. So I'm just in the wrong place. Is it down here? I haven't seen you before. A few words of advice: Don't mess with Redstone, and don't do anything to get the authorities' attention. What are you That's wearing? trouble you don't want. The smart people here keep a low profile. We're all too close to Capital Prime to be starting trouble. Redstone isn't great, but he's better than the Authority. Yeah, you're really keeping a low profile there, lady. Life's never been easy down here. We work hard every day, but between Redstone and the Authority, we barely make enough to survive. Something's gotta change. The people need a reason for hope. Siri. Why do the people need a reason for hope? Man. Okay, seriously, where the fuck is this guy? Jamie. Down the tunnel. Down here? There's my ride. The races we run out of this circuit, well, they aren't for the faint of heart. A lot tougher than what you may be used to. Doubt it. <laughs> That's for sure. This Haven't seen you before. You knew? Well, hello. Welcome to Sparky's. Home of the best car parts and upgrades this side of Capital Prime. I've got everything to make your ride tougher, safer, and most importantly, faster. Interesting. Look around, take your time. You have nothing new for me, you liar. Drive carefully. Except for the armor, I guess. Okay, so this is Sparky's. I need to go farther down. You feeling the need for speed? I always feel the need for speed. On your head. Why does everyone here have such weird fashion sense? Well, it is the future, I guess. Okay, so this obviously isn't the point. A real papa for a murder coup. Alright, this is bullshit. I'm, I'm gonna wander around until I can find this asshole. 
the next square. I'll be back. Alright, so wanna go around this guy asks for help, so let's see what he wants. My muscle and joints getting old, making it harder and harder for me to walk around these days. But I heard about a plant called Comet Bloom. Heard if I chew it, it'll make the pain go away. Or kill you. Problem yeah. is, I ain't got no way of getting it. You think you'll be able to help an old man like myself? Sure. Good, good. Word is that it grows way north of here, deep in Gearhead territory. Robert said he saw some of it growing near a small crater. Might be the best place to look. You bring me some of that, and I'll make it worth your while. Awesome. I'm not getting any younger, fella. Find me some comet bloom for the pain. You don't have aspirin in the future? I'm not getting yeah, any did, younger, did, fella. Oh, what's down here? Nice right, sparkies, we've been down here already. Okay, so here's the Fez bar. There's some guy who doesn't have a name. Oh, there we go. Krug. Krug! There's Friday. There's Siri. There's a door we can't open. Why right, is it down the tunnel from the Fez bar? Here's the Fez bar. That's down the tunnel. Anything's on the other side. I don't think we've been over here yet. There's a guy working, so this must be a Hudson. Is that what we're looking for? No, we're looking for Foreman Jones. He's in the tunnel! <laughs> okay. okay. I guess Hudson Jones is in the tunnel. Or Hudson Jones. Foreman Jones is in the tunnel. Here we go. The boss called down. Said to expect someone. You must be here. You don't know that I could be lost. So anyway, uh, most of this episode has been bullshit, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. When we come back, we'll talk to Foreman Jones and see what we can do to help with the mutant problem. The gross, gross mutant problem. So, thank you very much for watching, and join me next time on Rage.